thank you very much, uh, Special Representative of the Chairperson of the African Union Commission and Head of Amazon. Distinguished members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, first let me thank you for your positive response to the invitation we have before you, before us, by coming for this press conference. Let me also especially commend you for the coverage of Africa's uh, stabilization program through Amazon here in Somalia. On behalf of the chairperson of the African Union Commission, I really want to send my heartfelt appreciation to the government and people of Somalia for the warm, hospitable reception that has been extended to me and the delegation since my arrival two days ago. It has been a very enlightening engagement. We have been able to see for the first time, for me, my first visit to Somalia, the progress being made towards lasting enduring peace and stability in Somalia. Distinguished members of the media, I'm pleased to also inform you that the walking visit has been very productive, very fruitful, and of course, very candid with the political leaders of Somalia, ministers as well, of course, members of the civil society, women groups, the federal electoral implementation team, as well as our partners, development partners who have contributed to Amazon over the years. My interactions have been very, very fruitful, as I stated, and it is important that I will give you some of the highlights and answer your questions as you may deem fit. First, this year, 2022, on the 7th of March, we mark the 15th anniversary of the deployment of the African Union mission in Somalia to degrade Al-Shabaab and other armed groups. It has been a long journey, but we are here today thanks to some of the legacy of Amazon and the sacrifices, of course, made by our troop and police contributing countries, as well as Somalis, in trying to revive the process for national reconciliation and dialogue, at the same time rebuild the state that we know as the Federal Republic of Somalia. It is for this reason that I'm happy to also put on record that Amazon has registered landmark achievements over these 15 years. And I think it's visible for all of us. Yes, but the job is not yet done. It is obvious that we need to have the reestablishment of government structures, state institutions, and the political process must remain enabling for state building to take place. We are also very pleased with the humanitarian community, knowing fully well that the number of efforts must be upscaled to have relief to a number of people in need. Members of the media, let me also emphasize that we are at a critical juncture in the transition from Amazon to a new mission. As you may be aware, 
on the 1st of April, 2022, at Amisom, as it's currently known, will transform into the African Union Transition Mission in Somalia, tagged ATMIS. The purpose of ATMIS is to have a mobile, agile force that can rapidly degrade, eliminate, decimate all terrorists or armed groups that are making life difficult for the good people of Somalia. ATMIS will be, will have a character of a mission with an end goal. And that end goal is to transfer the full responsibilities of security to the federal government of Somalia. The time frame and all the details are in what we call the concept of operations and the joint proposals that we expect to have both documents confirmed and endorsed, adopted by the African Union Peace and Security Council in a few weeks and by the United Nations Security Council before the 31st of March 2022. The idea is that ATMIS will serve as that new mission that is multidimensional, focusing on stabilization, supporting the, build, the state building process, and of course, transferring in four phases security responsibilities to the Somali security forces. This process came out of a consultative, exhaustive, extensive process. It actually, over the past one year, we have been trying to make it happen. But I'm very pleased that we worked very well with the presidency and the office of the prime minister, and particularly the ministries of internal security, foreign affairs, and defense, working in Addis Ababa, in Cairo, and of course in Mogadishu over the last two months in particular to achieve the common positions that you find enshrined in the CONOPS, which is our concept of operations, and as well as the joint uh, proposal. So this process also involved the United Nations and the European Union. And we hope that once these documents are now adopted by the African Union Peace and Security Council, the United Nations Security Council will also adopt this. By the 1st of April, like I stated, we will be having a new mission. A new mission that is streamlined, that we hope will make the difference, and will eventually lead to national ownership and leadership of the security processes of Somalia through the government. And ATMIS will continue to render that support. Finally, let me assure you that the African Union stands ready to continue on its path of full unconditional support to the government and people of Federal Republic of Somalia. This implies that ATMIS will, be, will continue to serve as a peace support operation, but with a mandate and an exit plan, an exit strategy that will not leave the people of Somalia hanging, and at the same time will respect the needs and the aspirations for peace, stability, of course, good governance, democracy in Somalia. Let me, start, let me stop here and really want to thank you, and I'll be able to answer a few questions. Huddle.
oo hadal oo hadal oo ku hadal bishii oo dhan todoba dollar oo kaliya ku darso fariin kasta oo aad dirtaana oo ku bilaash hadaba si aad ugu shubato adeega kaafiye fadlan garaac xidig 8 eber 8 afar gees ama xidig 2 eber 2 afar gees isticmaal shabakadda ugu ballaaran geeyiga Soomaaliland